Hola, hola guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Roxanne. If it's your first time here, then welcome. I wanted to do a really quick casual video to discuss my five five star predictions. Um, this was a not quite a tag that was started by Mercedes a while ago. I think at the beginning of the year maybe where she was doing it herself where she just did a video of five books that she predicted that she would love enough to give five stars to and um she didn't officially make it a tag just something that she wanted other people to participate in and so i thought i would um so i chose one two three four five books that i thought um i i would love enough to get five stars book five stars to and i tried to choose um varied reads i guess but we'll see so the first is one that I want to read in December. It feels like a winter type book, and that is The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, I'm covering Galileo. Okay. Um, by Patrick Roth Rothfuss. And this is about this hero who is supposedly telling stories, telling the story of his life. So. You know, I guess you don't know if it's true, you don't know if he's reliable, um, it just sounds like it's going to be epic and amazing and so atmospheric and it'll just kind of take you to, to, to this place fully and so I'm very excited about that one um, and I think I, I'm going to love it enough to give it a five star, to give it five stars. Next is one that I want to read soon, probably I'll start it today, and that is In Cold Blood by Truman Capote. This book is so beloved and important in the true crime genre. It's like the first true, true crime book, and so I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna love it. I love true crime just in general. Um, I love how much you can learn about these kinds of individuals, kind of what makes them tick that they make you realize that it could really be anybody um and so i think i'm gonna i think i'm really gonna love this just people who i i trust um have really really enjoyed it and so i think that that's i'm gonna be right there with them oh Another one is another that I plan to read this this month as well, and it's Things We Lost in the Fire by Mariana Enriquez. This is a short story collection that's supposed to be super atmospheric, beautifully written, very, very dark. Uh, and I think I'm going to love it because I'm really in the mood for that, and that's just the type of writing that I've really, really been getting into lately. Plus it's a Latinx author, plus it's a female Latinx author, so I think I'm really going to be like right there with it and really love it. Then it is one that I got recently, actually most of these I got recently, um, and it is Sirena Selena by Maria, by Mayra Santos Febres. This is by a Puerto Rican Afro, Afro Latinx Puerto Rican woman. Um, it is about a nightclub in a Puerto Rican town and this beautiful, amazingly talented drag queen. It's about their lives, their interactions, their relationships, a uh, discussion of how this community is seen within the, the grander um, sort of scope of the Puerto Rican culture. And I think I'm really, really gonna love it. I think that she's, it, she might become one of my new favorite authors, or at least I really hope so. Um, next is James Baldwin's Giovanni's Room. Um, this I, I know very, very little about. I know that he discusses love and death and that it's it's one of his most, if not his most famous work. I'm not really sure, but um, it's going to be my first Baldwin and I'm trying to go into it sort of as blind as I possibly can, uh, as I do with most of the books that I read, just because I don't want to somehow inadvertently sway myself one way or the other or create expectations that I'm I'm not that are not going to be met by the book so I try to go in as blind as possible he is someone whose opinions I value um the the articles that I've read that discuss him and the interviews that I've seen where he's talking about his views and, and his ideals I really tend to gravitate towards and and love the way that he is able to cohesively state what he um sees and what he saw in this world and so i think i'm really gonna love it i think um 
yeah i'm just very very excited for it i think that he might also become one of my new favorites um i've seen some people say that they just like gobble up his books and so i hope that is the case for me as well so those are the five star read predictions for me i hope to get to all of these really soon so hopefully i'll be able to wrap up this relatively soon and tell you guys how i did with regards to if I was accurate or not. Um, I also don't wanna try and sway myself to give these books five stars if I don't actually like them. So I'm gonna have to keep that in mind as I read them. Like, what am I actually feeling about this book? Do I actually love it as much as I think I do? Or am I just saying that because I thought I was gonna give it five stars? So yeah, let me know if you've read any of these books and what you thought about them. If you think I will also give them, if you, th if you also think I will give them five stars. If you have any five star predictions, let me know. I know a lot of people have been participating in this and it's really fun videos to see. So if you've made one or written a blog post about it or an Instagram post, uh, let me know down below. I would love to go look at it and see if I've read any of them and what I think. As always, thank you for watching and for listening, and as I have been doing, I will post information in the description bar for places where you can donate and find out information about the situation in Puerto Rico, the Caribbean, and Mexico. Um, if you cannot donate, then please spread the word. Follow me on Twitter. I discuss all of it there, and I retweet, and I post places where you can donate and songs you can listen to, to that whose proceeds are going to, to Puerto Rico and organizations and everybody. Everything that I can find, I, I will post there. So, um, thank you again. Galileo says hi. He's, oh, what did you see? Oh, stop it. <laughs> Love you guys.